Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can resize your character. Actually, I covered this topic before, so I will use these tunnels as an example. So let's see how the character behaves. This is the walking speed. And this is how high he can jump. You can see he can jump almost here. And this is the this is the portrait and I and this is one of the super. So let's try to change it. So the first thing you need to do is change the mobile version to 1.0 and if it's already 1.0 you don't have to change it if it's already 1.1 you don't have to change it and after change to 1.0 that means it will only work on 1.0 movement or later and this will enable us to use 1.0 special function it's called local core and this local core can affect character size so the default value is this value this value is the same as the, this whole line is not exist so if I just save here uh, the tunnels will not resize because this is the current value so the bigger this x value the smaller the character the smaller this x value, the bigger the character. So I will double this value. Let me use Shift F4 to refresh. And you see the character now is 50% only. And the walking speed also reduced to 50%. And let's check the jump height. It's also 50%. Last time he can jump to here. And here you see the portrait is also 50%. So this is the downside. The portrait will also be affected. And the thing make this even worse is the background will be also be 50% and the move feels like normal okay. so this is what will be look like when you use local core to change character size and the most common problem is when you are not using my uh, true wider screen stage you are using a normal wider screen stage so when you're using this normal wider screen stage all the character looks like looks bigger and especially these tunnels even the real looks bigger so if you want to shrink the tunnels to uh, a acceptable size just like the 4x3 stage so how to change this value what exactly the value you want to change so actually I can tell you a formula so it's 320 and divide by 0 0.75 so this is the value you want so after the change Thanos, the size of Thanos will feel exactly the same like in a 4x3 stage. No, it's the magic number. You use this number divide by 0 0.75. So if here is not 320, for example, if it's 640, you also do the same divide by 0 0.75 and I give this value to here so let's change back but the downside to change the character size 
this way is you have to change every character to fit the stage so that's why I'm not recommending to use this way but I'm releasing those called a two wider screen stage so inside this stage because the stage will zoom out so the character will appear smaller so I will zoom out to a point whether the character shows exactly the same size as 4x3 stage so uh, this is the first way you can change character size but there is another way maybe it's not popular but it's uh, perfect if you want to take time so the second way is you go to the CNS file which click here and usually you will find a data life attack blah 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 and you will see this size inside this size there is X scale and Y scale you see the X scale is already been modified by the original author of this character it's 0.7 already so let's revert back to 1 and let's see and it will look like this so let's see what if we change here to 0.5 you will see the character is being shrinked half only half of the size okay. but here is not affected the portrait is not affected you see the walking speed is not affected it still can work as fast as he at full size and the jumping distance is also not affected you can jump here but uh, for the local coordinate one you can only jump to here but using this way have a serious problem let me show you you see the effect is off the place relate to the character and that's why it's not popular way to change character size because everything will be uh, not at the right place and what to do actually this is the better way to change character size so actually what you want to do is to find the code here so this projectile and this thing is this code so basically you need to have the ability to code or else it's very difficult to change so what you want to do is here you see pause is the position so original value is 10 but currently your size is 50 percent so you want all the position will all change uh, based on your current scale so it's a very easy thing you can say the original value times uh, scale size x scale also for the y parts times y scale so this x scale is originally 0 0.7 now we change to 0 0.5 do you remember and this y scale now is current 0 0.5 that means this value will times 0 0.5 this value will times 0 0.5 and it will be looks like this now you can see the effect is at the right place because we timed the x scale and the y scale which is this number and actually there's another place you need to time this is the scale so all the scale 
position velocity you need to time this parameter now you know why nobody want to use it because you have to change a lot of code to make it work unless you are the author of the character because if you make everywhere times this thing and your character will be uh, uh, free to resize no matter how you change everything will be uh, at the right place and here is not affected background will not be affected just like my uh, Dengi Kebunku characters for example this is my Misaka Mikoto she is a native HD character and the behavior is like this and this is the menu and if I want to change her size if you go to local corner I will state do not change here change x and y scale in context.cms so it's not recommend to change this thing but if you want to change the behavior will be different for example it looks like that so if I double this to make her 50% smaller then you see menu is smaller portrait is smaller character is smaller everything is smaller but if I use X and Y scale and go to 0 0.5 0 0.5 you see the menu is normal the portrait is normal only the character is smaller and let's see everything is at the correct place the reason she can work like that is because basically I put every position scale and velocity times this constant size x and y scale so I did at every place so it's kind of a lot of work but I think it's worth it so lastly I will try to make you understand how this local card works why the number is bigger the character is smaller and why the number is smaller character is bigger so the first thing I want to do export this image okay, I will export this image to our file and I will make screenshots so I will make a screenshot by pressing F F12 then I will load another wider screen stage a normal wider screen stage and make a screenshot by pressing F12 let me open Photoshop and open the three files let me shrink the picture to its native size so this is the native size okay this is the picture of the screenshot at native size so let me put this character into the picture let's look like this you see the size is same and I if put the character into here and you see the character size same and you check this whole picture is 320 by 240 okay that means 
if you put the sprite the picture into a 320 by 240 the size will be look like this so that's the meaning of local card is the size of the screen the size of the paper something like that so if we make the size of the screen bigger but this picture remain the same for example I double the size you see if the character sprites remain the same but the whole picture become bigger then the character feels smaller right and same for here so if oh so that's it that means the screen or the paper or the or the stage the size has been doubled which means this number is been doubled and our character will feel like this big so that's why the bigger this number the smaller the character